If you just focus on learning things and not practice what you're learning, you don't learn as much. You might think that you're learning, but soon you will realize that you're not learning. Projects are a great way to make sure that what you're learning, it does stick to your mind as well. That's the reason why I always recommend the beginners that when you are learning something, try to build a lot of small practical projects. Now, one of the issues that most of the beginners face is not knowing what to build. To solve this issue, I'm happy to announce the launch of projects on roadmap.sh. So if you visit roadmap.sh and you go to any of the roadmaps, let's say the backend roadmap, apart from showing you the learning path for this, this track, we have a new tab called projects. On projects page, we have different projects of different difficulty levels. For example, these are all the beginner projects, these are intermediate, and these are advanced. They're also sorted based on the difficulty. For example, this would require the minimum effort and minimum skills. This would build up on the skills you will acquire from this project. This will build up on the skills you will acquire from these two, and so on. If you open one project, let's say the GitHub user activity, this has to be a CLI. On the project page, you will find the requirements. For example, this has to be a CLI that will require a username as an input. It will connect to the GitHub API to fetch the events for this user. And this will print to the console all the events that user has performed. If you look at the requirements, we don't give you any tech recommendations. We don't give you any code samples. It is just the input, some hints to help you develop this project, and the output that you're required to produce. All the projects are done in a similar manner. So if I open some API, let's say the URL shortening service, so we have an architectural diagram, we have requirements, we have API endpoints that you can use to, uh, to build the project, and so on. You can also click on start working to start tracking your progress, submit the solution, and get feedback on your project from the community as well. So for example, if I go back to the previous project, let's say the GitHub user activity, if I click start working, I need to be logged in. So once I log in, let's say that I click start working, it will start the project for me and it will give me some tips. So it is saying that you need to first create a public repository on GitHub. So I'll visit my GitHub and create a repository, a public repository called GitHub user activity and make sure that this is public. Click create. Now the next step is to complete the project and push it to GitHub add a readme with the instructions to run the project and add the project page URL to the readme. I already have prepared the project, so I'll open this up here now. It's a simple Node.js application that reads the argument from the console, fetches the activity with the username and displays it to the console. So if I run it with my username, it will show all the activity in the required format. The next step is adding to the readme the running instructions to how, the, how to run the project and adding the link to the project page from roadmap.sh. The next step is pushing it to my GitHub. So if I go to GitHub again, I'll copy the remote URL and I will add git remote add origin and I'll push it. So now my changes have been pushed. I can copy this project URL from here, go back to the project page, click submit solution. I'll put the URL to my GitHub repository here. It will verify that the URL is public, repository, repository must contain a readme file, it has a readme file, it also verifies if we have the project URL in there or not. The project URL is already there, so if I click verify and submit, the project will be submitted. The other good thing is your solution will also be listed on the community solutions page, so if you go here, anyone can come and visit your solution, give you feedback in terms of issues, open pull requests, give you a star on GitHub, and also you'll be able to receive the upvotes here, and you'll be able to see these milestones on this page. All right, so this is how you can leverage projects on roadmap.sh to improve your skills. I'm really excited about this feature, and this is one of those things that I wished I had when I was starting with my career. Uh, we'll be adding more projects will be improving this feature a lot. If you have any feedback, any comments on this, please do reach out to me and I'll see you in the next one.